Aloha friends! Today I'm going to show you how to make no-bake cheesecake squirrel brownies made from beef. Yes, I am. But before we get into that, my name is Maria Emmerich. I am a nutritionist who specializes in the ketogenic and carnivore lifestyle. And I've been helping clients for the past 20, over 20 years. I have the best job in the world, helping people transform their lives while eating delicious food like this. Um, so let's jump into the kitchen so you can make these too. Okay, my friends, to start, we're gonna work on the brownie layer. And to do that, we're gonna put 12 tablespoons of butter into a large bowl. And you want unsweetened baking chocolate. There's no sugar in this. I just get this German brand uh, from the store. You can get it on, online if you want. And you want two ounces. So that's half the bar. And you wanna chop this fine. The finer you chop it, the easier it is going to be to melt. Chocolate can be very temperamental when you melt it. You could either use a double boiler or you could use a microwave. But if you use a microwave, do it in maybe 15 second increments because um, if you go too fat, hot, you will make the chocolate separate. And that's not going to be the best brownie mouth texture ever. I don't actually know if it changes the flavor, but definitely the mouth uh, texture will be different, which in itself makes it not as delicious. So chop, 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 and we're going to add that to the butter. And then we're going to heat that just until it's melted. And I'm going to do that in the microwave in about 20, 15 second increments. And I'll catch you back in just a little bit. Okay, so now we have the heated up chocolate. And I'm just going to mix it until it's all melted. The chocolate is completely melted. And then I'm going to add my natural sweetener I'm using allulose. And the exact measurements will be in the link below. I have a couple recipe testers working on it too, just to make sure that they love it. And I would hate to see a measurement and they're like, eh, you should change it to this. And then we all test it again and say, think it's better. I'm also going to add stevia glycerite. I usually always add two or three sweeteners because it's going to round out the sweetness and make it taste more like sugar without adding sugar. And the last, we're going to add two scoops of each whipped chocolate prime protein. And that's where the beef comes into play. The equip prime protein is made from beef. And as weird as it sounds, it is more bioavailable than any other protein powder. So this is why I love it so much and it's dairy free. So if you're dairy free, you could use coconut oil or butter flavored coconut oil to make these cheesecake brownies. I'm gonna mix it together. I use a hand mixer just to make sure the powder mixes really well in here. There we go. And then I have a piece of parchment. I just cut it to fit my uh, baking dish here. And I'm also going to I think I'm going to use a little bit of butter to grease the sides just because I don't want it to stick. So we'll switch this again. You could just like for, form the parchment to go around the sides, but this will work too. There we go. Now I'm going to pour this into here. And I'm going to place this in the, you can put it in the fridge or the freezer so it sets while you, a little, I'm going to put it in the fridge because I don't want to set too much because I'm going to swirl the cheesecake in there. That's right. So I'm going to put this in the fridge and we'll catch you back in a little bit. All right, my friends, uh, the brownie layer is in the fridge. Uh, and now the cheesecake layer is super, super easy. I have two eight ounce packages of cream cheese that are softened 
in the large bowl that I just rinsed out from the brownie batter. And I'm gonna add my natural sweetener. Again, the measurements will be in the link below. I use allulose and a teaspoon of stevia glycerate, which is a non-bitter stevia. If you don't like other stevias, you might like this one because it's not bitter. And then I'm gonna use Equip Prime Protein Vanilla. You could use strawberry if you want to, but we're using vanilla. And I'm gonna do six scoops. That's right, six, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? And I'm gonna mix this together well. And then once it's well blended, you can taste it and adjust the sweetness to your liking. It's actually my son's 14th birthday today. I can't believe Mike is 14. It's just crazy how time flies. Um, and what was I gonna say? Hmm, oh, Equip, so generous. If you use code Maria, you save big time. So don't forget to use the code. Who doesn't wanna save? All right, now this is out of the fridge and I'm going to swirl the cheesecake into the brownie batter. So I'm gonna like place it on and then use a knife to swirl it because we want to, you know, swirl it together. So it looks like, I don't know, is it Duncan Hines or whatever that does the cheesecake brownies, the store-bought ones. Do not be fooled by Duncan Hines keto brownies, please, people. It is not, <laughs> it's not healthy. So now we're just going to kind of swirl this in. So you see both the cheesecake layer and the brownie layer. I'm not much of an artist. I should have Kai do this. There, kind of looks good. Yeah, yeah, I think it looks good. Maybe a little bit more here of the brown. There. And I'm gonna place that in the fridge for at least four hours. And I'm excited to try it. Hey Kai. Hi. How's it going? Good. I have a no-bake cheesecake brownie for mm -hmm. you to try. I know you're at football, working out a lot, mm -hmm. and this has a lot of protein. I thought you should try it. Yes. Yes? You could, you could try it. Take a bite. Oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, really good. It's really good. Yeah. Would you like? What would you rate it one through five? One through five, probably like four. Four? Yeah. No, that's a good. I'll take four. I'll take four. I know you're not a big cheesecake person. Yeah. Or dessert person. So thank you for that. And what do you want to tell people? Cook with your kids and share this video with your friends, and you can also get this book. <laughs> the Sugar Free Kids book. Yeah. Do you know who I wrote it with? Halle Berry. Yes, sir. Thanks, everybody. Mahalo. You're a good, mar you're mar good marketer, Kai. If you want to change your life like I've changed mine with food, I would be honored to help you. Many of you don't know that I was twice my size. I had acid reflux. I had PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I had depression. I had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome and food changed my life. And not only did that happen, I get to eat good food, right? Good food. So if you wanna eat good food, have perfected meal plans made by me, and personal help with supplements or modifications, if you have Hashimoto's, if you have uh, Graves, if you have IBS, if you have PCOS, contact me. I would be honored to help you. Um, you can go to keto-adapted.com and find a lot of different options there for personalized help or message me uh, by commenting below on this YouTube video or 
You can check me out at mariamindbodyhealth.com. Mahalo.